In this video, I want to show you how you can quickly and easily add drop down boxes to your navigation bar. Now, some themes are going to have a navigation bar and some are not. For example, if we take a look at this particular theme, I pull a quick switcheroo here, we can see that right here where your normal navigation bar links might be, this is where the categories are. And the more categories that you add, then the more links that will show up here. And there's ways in which you can not have them show up. And up here along the top, these are the pages. And by default, you've got two pages, your home page and your about me page. In the drop down boxes, for example here, you've got two of them. Now that's something that I created. So, and again, I created the sales page, I created the front page and the blog. But in the about me page, you can have drop down boxes. You can have as many drop down boxes as you want. Again, this can be somewhat theme specific. Naturally, not all themes are going to have this function. And those that do not on the outset, those that do not, you know, straight away from the box, you sometimes can tweak the CSS to make them do what you want them to do. But you may find after time of doing a lot of tweaking here and there that, you know, maybe you just want to spend a few bucks and get a premium theme that has everything you want right out of the box. So again, that's something that you'll just figure out on your own as time rolls on. But in this video, though, I want to show you how you can add these drop down boxes quite simply. Now we head on back over to our dashboard and we're going to Oh yeah, and by the way, some themes have some additional functionality. And if we click here under the appearance box where our themes are located at, this particular theme, the one I just showed you, has some options. So if you were to check this box here, click on this link rather, then it'll take you to some additional options that you might be able to play around with. But that's beyond the scope of this video. As far as adding those drop down boxes to these pages up here, because that's what these are, you need to go to pages. Now we're going to, let me just show you the pages that I have and the basic structure that they look like currently. See the little dashes here? This page is a child page of this page. As you can see right here, this page is a child page of this one, just like this one is of this one as well. Now you can also have child pages of these guys too, and child pages of those. And I'll show you what to look for here right now. Let's go ahead and add a new page. And for example, on the sales links, let's say here you want to have a particular page for each item that you're selling, each product that you're selling. If you remember way back whenever we had our sales page for the WordPress sales page, well, you can have one just like that here. You can have one for your sale, uh, list building video course or whatever here, and so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. And yeah, it can be a little bit ridiculous where you've got you know the drop down boxes way down here, but again, that is a possibility. Now then, this one here, we're going to call it, for lack of a better word, and then you put your content in here, your videos, your download links, or whatever, and then, that's that's not so much it. I'll leave that up to you. First, you got to give it a title, then you come on down here under Attributes. This is where the magic happens, folks. You can choose right now, it'll be no parent. It will be on its own link. Just like these guys here, these are the parent pages. Okay, so if I did not do anything here, just left it as a default, then it would show up up there. Now, how you can get around that is a nifty little plugin called Exclude Pages. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail on how you can get this plugin. We've pretty much gone over that already. You should simply go to Plugins, Add New, type in Exclude Pages in these search parameters. That'll take you to the WordPress.org site inside your blog and then you just click on the plugin that says exclude pages download that or not so much download but install it and then this will pop up and if you have this box checked and again this will only show up during your pages if you got this guy checked then it will show up on that navigation link up there if you have it unchecked then it will not be included in the user menus okay so there you go so we're going to go ahead and uh, leave this one checked because if this is unchecked it will not show up as a drop down box either okay so make sure this is checked but to make it a drop down box we need to make it a child of our sales page now you can also make it a child of your list building okay so that way it would be off to the side of the list building and maybe you've got an ebook series of list building as well as say a video series so let's go ahead and put that under our list building but uh, we're going to be ebook sales of 
list building. There, there you go. And then you got another one for you know just list building. Well, let's just say use your imagination. Okay, so now that we're good, click on publish. Come on back here, refresh. And this one should be a child of the list building, which is a child of sales. So there we go, we got those two. Click on this, and there's our ebook list of sales. And then we can also make a child of this one too, just to let you know that's how you do it. It is whenever you create the page, over under attributes, you decide if it's going to be a parent or if it's going to be a child of an existing page. And that is it, folks. That's how you can create fast and easy drop down boxes for your navigation bar. Now then, remember this exclude pages plugin too. This is pretty cool. It may come in pretty handy whenever you're creating a whole bunch of pages and you don't want all those pages showing up on your navigation bar. You just install this plugin, make sure this box is unticked, and it will not show up on that page. I'll go ahead and show you where this one will now not be on that drop down list here at all. You see right now, it's a child of the list building. We refresh and there is no child here. So again, if you don't want it to show up up here at all, then you make sure that box is unticked. And that, folks, is going to bring us to the end of this video on how you can easily add drop-down boxes to your navigation links. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great day now.